Hello everybody, Ian Robson here, welcome back to an episode of Counterline. Alright, we've got a couple things going on today. Um, first things first, uh, as you can see we have $773,000 and uh, that is because of charcoal and fire starter, believe it or not. I sold another like six pallets worth and I got another like a couple $300,000, something like that, something crazy. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, pick up a new grain trailer. So we're just taking this to the shop right now. We're going to sell the Tempt, uh, looks like a Wilson trailer, but it's actually, I think it's a Tempt one. Uh, we're going to sell that and we're going to get something else. And let's hop around here. We have this. Let's just check to see how this is going while we're just looking. Okay, good, good. I, I can't believe how much money this is actually making. It's crazy. Um, I'm happy with it, mind you. Uh, now this is on easy. That's the reason why we're probably making so much money. Um, so keep that in mind. And uh, this truck is awesome. And I don't like the sweeper on the front. I think it looks silly, but um, it does work for cleaning up the uh, the area around here. So, anyways, do we have any logs in here? No, we probably put a couple logs in here. I think maybe next year what I'll do is I'll get. Uh, I think next year what I'll do is I'll get the uh, a wheel loader and use that because I think that'll be a bit better for moving some of these. Uh, because I find that this would uh, it's a little bit slow with the with this tractor because you can only take one at a time. So anyways, let's wait till the tractor, till the truck gets to the shop and we'll change up those grain trailers. One moment. All right, the truck just made it to the shop. Let's go ahead and sell this Tim trailer here. And we're gonna upgrade. As you can see, the snow is gone. I forgot to point that out. The snow is gone uh, because the temperature has risen to above zero now or at zero degrees C Celsius, which is the freezing point if you're not Canadian or European perhaps. So zero minus one is when it starts to freezing. It starts to freeze. If you're wondering, um, so because it's zero, it's kind of kind of where it starts melting. This is where you get freezing rain actually, which is horrible. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and sell this and make ten thousand dollars from that. Excellent. Let's go to the shop. Where's the actual shop area here? Uh, that's for that. I think it's over here. Yeah, there it is. We'll just walk to the shop because we're right here. Can't walk in though. And we're looking for tippers, and we're gonna go ahead and upgrade to, dun 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 dun. Uh, those ones we, uh, we had that last, I think we had it last, uh, see, last uh, episodes. Uh, let's go for this, these guys, the Doper trailers. Uh, oh no, I want these, these ones, I want the green ones, because these are the good ones. Uh, oh goodness, which one is it? That's green, I need the other green one then. Because there's two, oh here they are. There's this set, which is the good set. Uh, this one is this is the one that's done. This holds a bit less, uh, but it's done. I think I got this from Maru.net. If you're wondering, uh, this version of it at least there are there's like this version right here. It works. That one's from American Eagle Modding, but this one's improved because it doesn't collide when you have a a dual axle trailer uh, or truck, I should say. All right, let's get this. We'll just purchase that. Yes, please. And we would like to get the pup as well, Cebu Play, Messi Bogu. We don't want to lease it, we want to buy it. There we go. Excellent. Sweet. Let's check out these guys here. These are the Dope trailers. I really like these ones. Uh, this combination, like I said, is from uh, Maru.net uh, and it works very well. So there's the, uh, you could just do this one by itself or you can put these ones together, but because we have the capability of doing tandem, we're going to go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and change the color of this truck, I think. Uh, just to see if we can match it a little bit better. Because I don't think it's the right color. Actually, let's check something. Does this have... Uh, no, it doesn't. Uh, is that in there? Yeah, I think it's good. Let's see if we can customize this color uh, to a darker green. I think it's this color green. There we go. Let's see how that lines up. Now all my other trailers are going to look weird with this, but... That's okay. We can change the colors of those ones too. Uh, because this particular trailer is not the color is not customizable, that's why. I just switched to this color. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's the first one. And as you can see, this one actually works with a dual axle. The problem you run into before is the, the original one I uh, from American Eagle Modding, at least the original one I had, they may have been updated now, uh, but the original one did not work with dual axle trucks like this. So you'll, you'll notice how it's kind of like a, the actual attachment is like super far back or super far forward on this trailer because if you, so here's the actual attached joint, but if you actually attach from there, you would actually collide with this. So they moved it forward. So I don't think it's actually attached to anything. I can't tell. Can you see that? Oh, maybe it is. 
I think what they did is they just added a second uh, attacher joint there. Anyways, like I was mentioning, the snow is gone because the temperature has risen, which means spring is on the way. We have one day left of winter, and then it's the first day of spring, so we can get some spring tillage done. Uh, we have that tillage rash we need to till under. Let's go ahead and attach these together. Oh yeah. Actually, that's the right color. That's perfect. I wasn't sure if it was going to be the right color or not, but that is uh, that is the right color. Sweet. So let's take these back to, uh, back to our farm. And then we're going to sell some grain because if we look at the grain prices... Uh, let's see here. Our we have lots of wheat, and wheat is at a good price right now. This is the highest I've seen at fourteen hundred. I haven't seen it higher than that. Barley's on great demand right now, and corn's actually a pretty good price too. But I don't have anything else in stores. Uh, no, biofuel, milk, whole whole bunch of random stuff here. That's from that uh, Zvapa stuff. Oh, it actually shows the central trade. Oh, that's neat. That's why. Okay, so that's why that those things. Uh, that's neat that I added that. I don't remember seeing that before. Where's the prices associated with charcoal? And uh, I think this is charcoal and fire started these two. Yeah, you can see that's a high, high price. That's why you make so much money. Anyways, we'll be back in a moment here. All right, so got back to the farm here. We're going to go ahead and grab a little bit of, as you can see, the snow hasn't fully melted yet in some places where it's a bit, uh, it's a bit more uh, spread out. Actually, it's funny. The places where the snow is still right now is all the places where the truck... Uh, the snow plow came through. <laughs> That's the funny thing about that. All right. Now, uh, where the heck am I going here? I'm going to Quaker, and we're taking some wheat. Noted. Okay. Might as well make some more money while the price is right. Uh, wheat. There we go. So this will take, I think, 80,000 liters altogether. Uh, so this is 80,000 liters, and the previous tra trailer took... How much did the previous trailer took? Take. How much did it take? Uh, da, 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 da. I think it was fifty-ish. What do we have? The tempt one. I say this as if you're going to answer me right away, but it's not the case. No, I just realized. Oh goodness! All right, where is it? Here. Fifty-one thousand liters. Yeah, it's an extra thirty thousand liters, basically. That was quick. There we go. And the cool thing about having double trailers like this is that you can have, uh, you can, you know, load different things. And I think, do I actually have a course to this Quaker? I probably do. I seem to recall it. I do. Sell charcoal, sell co-op. There's, yeah, I do have it. Okay. This is more for my own reference rather than, I'm not going to put it on course, but I'm going to do it myself right now. But that was a, just a, a, a note to myself saying, oh yes, in the future, that's good. Perfect. Let's put the... Ah. I forgot. I don't know why they didn't fix that. That makes me sad. That's the one thing I don't like about... Uh, I don't know I don't know what the deal is. Like, I don't think it's a difficult fix, but... I don't know why the guy fixed the attachment joint, but not that. That's what I don't understand. Anyhow. Let's go ahead and sell some of this. Get inside the truck here. It's funny, the other truck, the uh, the hook lift truck, it actually has uh, a little bit of IC in it. You can actually put the uh, the hi front hydraulics on it or not. And this one is like exactly the same truck with like some minor, minor differences. Like this one has like the Kenworth um, logo on the steering wheel and that's it basically. Otherwise, it's exactly the same truck. It's got a few little uh, other modifications, but otherwise it's very similar. But they're both pretty slick trucks. If you're wondering where I got that hook lift truck from, the uh, it's basically the same truck, just with a... It's, this one says Kenworth, but it's basically the same truck as that one over there. Uh, the hook lift was from the Mod Hub, and it, it was from the beta section, I believe, which I think is pretty slick. So like I said, this is all the, where all the snow was is where the, uh, the snow plow came through and made a big pile. <laughs> That's the reason why it hasn't... Uh, hasn't uh, melted yet, which I'm pretty surprised. Like normally in the winter, uh, with the seasons mod, it doesn't it melts in like maybe in, er, in early spring. But we're still in winter, so it's day nine of winter, so it's starting to warm up really quickly here this winter. So I almost went to indicate uh, with like a real car indicator. That's hilarious. Like in my mind, I'm like, oh, hit your indicator, 
that's always funny when you do that. When you're so like so into it that you're just uh, you're like, okay, let's hit the indicator a little bit. Turn left. That's hilarious. Oh man. Actually, last car. What was the last car we rented? Uh, we, like uh, as if some of you know or some of you don't know, I don't own a car. I take the bus everywhere, which is awesome at times and terrible other times. But um, because we don't own a car, we get to rent lots of different cars when we do get a car. So the last car we had it was a Hyundai Elantra. Nice car. Good on highways actually. Uh, it was nice to drive around. We went to visit a couple of other areas close to where I live, which was pretty neat. And uh, not a bad car. And then the last time, the car time before that, we rented a uh, Volkswagen Beetle, which was pretty surprising that the rental company even has those, actually. Uh, my wife loved driving that car. She drove it everywhere. I didn't drive it all. She's like, I want to drive this. I'm like, okay, go ahead. Looks like a green light, although there's no lights at all. It was pretty funny. She really liked driving that car. We were in Nova Scotia when we had that car. And she really enjoyed uh, driving that one around. Actually, it was pretty peppy, surprisingly. Usually, they don't really give you peppy cars um, when you rent, but they tend to give you just... Did I go past it? No, it's just across the bridge here. Usually, they don't give you peppy cars when uh, you rent, but sometimes they do. Stop. Oof. No one saw that. All right, train has gone by now. Let's take this turn over here to the Quaker area, which is right over there. Let's go here. If you're wondering why there's nothing in here, it's because I'm in screenshot mode right now. If you're wondering. Let's straighten out a little bit there. There we go. All right, let's see how much money we made, or we're going to make, I should say. I was taking screenshots there, in case you're wondering. That's why there was a little stop right there. All right, let's see what what it's going to be like here. It's funny, it's almost more profitable for me to sell charcoal right now than it is to sell wheat or barley or anything, which is kind of funny. I actually did find another neat little mod um, today, which is kind of like a, it's a placeable. And if you don't like cutting down trees, it's basically what it does is it produces a pallet. Uh, it produces a pallet, and then it's a pallet with trees on it, basically, like cut trees. So you can just kind of do use that and go, okay, done. All right, 60,000, we're going to make 120 from this. That's not so bad. Not too bad at all. Actually, what I will do is take this off because we don't need this anymore. Uh, the price has gone down, but we only sell one load. We don't, because uh, that price is going to go down again. And Brickville Co-op is the higher price right now. So when this finishes finishes uh, selling, and I'm sure it's going to be even lower than that. Yeah. How much lower? I don't know, but we'll find out. Uh, no, it hasn't gone down yet. 1233. No, there it goes. To a thousand. Okay. So we didn't quite make 160, 120,000. It was close though. Alright. Let's head back to the farm here. <clears throat> I suppose I should have driven over that scale first. But I never use the scale. Usually they cause more problems than anything else in this game. At least that's what I find. Alright, nothing there, nothing there. Let's go for it. Alright, so we'll head back to the farm. I shan't uh, record all of that going back to the farm because we saw it all the way there, so see you back at the farm. Alright, just finished up here. Gonna drop these trailers off over here in our in our little area, which is perfect for these style of trailers because it's a drive-through as opposed to I can't you could I could back this up separately, I suppose, but you don't really need to. There we go, perfect. Actually you know what I should do? Let's just cover those up. Just in case. Uh, just in case it decides to snow one more time. There we go. And if you recall, I made this little road here. And let's just check on our seed production over here, because I haven't really checked on this at all. At all. The whole winter, basically. I've neglected it severely. I think we have a, a ton of seeds there, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, we have 5,000 liters of fertilizer. We have zero grain. Uh, and we have 35,000 liters of seeds. Okay, so we, we probably dump another load of... Uh, grain in there, but I'm not going to use this truck for that because that's not going to work at all. Alright, let's put the truck away I think. I think what I will do actually is uh, I'm going to try uh, We have I, I didn't sell these bales at all this winter either. That's how much money we have laying around right now. Isn't that ridiculous? Let's grab Oops, I don't want to go down here. Let's go over here. Let's grab um 
our auto stacker trailer. I want to see. Actually, no. We'll do. We'll do it this way. Uh, do I still have the shop sell loop on? No. Uh, what we'll do is, I want to pick up another trailer. Do I have? I want to try this guy because I'm really not a fan of design. What do we have? Options. Toolbox. Or the standard bail trailer without you all. Bail trailer with you all. Okay, we want it with. We don't want it without. And main color. We can make the main color this. Let's go for the same green we have on the truck. And we're going to buy this. Because I believe this holds a bit more. I don't want the toolbox. Although we can always change it later on. I don't know if it makes a difference on how many bills you can pick up. But let's go ahead and buy this. Uh, the reason why I'm picking this up uh, is because I don't... On this trailer, I like it in general. Except for this. I think this is too much. Thank you for making the mod Big Daddy's backyard. But I just think it's a little overkill for my taste at least. So let's just reset that. I don't want to go to the shop again to do that because I want to see what this looks like in comparison to. So thank you all. Did it give me any errors? No. As you can see I'm still getting that render device unknown error. It's not causing any severe issues but I, I think it's the... Uh, I think it is... if I had to guess I think it is the... Uh, the Brock... Um, what is it? Silo, basically. This is a. We call it a step deck. Well, that's not too bad, actually. That's a bit more uh, subtle. I'm more of a fan of the uh, the subtle. I'm not like a "Hey, look at me" type of person. That looks pretty slick, actually. See? What does that say? See, this is like more. Uh, so see how it's a little more subtle? I'm okay with this. It's not like in your face. Well, that's not too bad either. That's just the name of the trailer, I'm assuming. The Road Brute. That's, that's, that's a really nice, really nice looking trailer. I don't know why I haven't used this before. Again, this is from American Eagle Modding, if you're wondering. And let's just, uh, might as well give it a go. Z, no we want. Round bales, 1.5 I think it is. Yes, big bales. Bigger pallets, square bales. Round bale. I think it's round bale's 1.5 if I had to guess. So we can drive on here still because it's winter without wrecking this. How many bales does this actually take? Let's find out. Oh, I guess it's not 1.5 meter bales. Which one is it then? High dynamic bales, pallets, big bales, bigger bales, square bales, round bales. Oh, it's 1.3 apparently. Whoa, you can get a ton of bales on this. Goodness gracious, that is a lot of bales. Because the other one held, how many did it hold? Did it hold? I think it was 32 or something like that. That's quite a lot actually. Quite a lot of bales. Uh, yeah, that's not too bad at all. One second, let's see how many bales this is. Yeah, this thing holds uh, 40 bales. That's actually more than the other one. It's not as gaudy either. That's a shame. If I take the auto load feature off, no, the, there you go. Might as well sell these while we have it on the truck. Might as well sell these. Excellent. Let's make some more money. Might as well. All right. We want. We want to. Where is it here? So bale steering main. Nope. We only want it once though. There we go. Make some more money. We could probably buy another field now. Hmm. This is actually a nice trailer. I don't know why I haven't used this before. Like I was saying before. Uh, let's get this lined up. And... No, go to this point over here. Why you turn around to that rear point? There we go, perfect. All right, let's take a look at some fields while we're at it. So we have, we actually own 11, 8, 10, 33. Uh, how much is seven? We can actually buy this, no problem. How many hectares is it? 11 hectares? Hmm. We could probably afford something bigger than that, actually. How much is nine? Can't afford that. Can't afford nine. It's a little bit too big. Uh, 18, we could probably afford. Uh, we could get 18. 20 hectares? That's a pretty big, it's a pretty big long field. Mmm, that would be good for sugar beets, something like that. 
or potatoes. That's a lot of potatoes, though. Honestly, that's a crazy amount of potatoes. And what's our other option? So we have that one. So we can get 18, 7, 17 is probably too much. 32 might be okay with 32. Yeah, we could get 32 as well. That's a little bit further away. I think I'll go, go for 18. Let's do 18. Let's get 18 here. Bye. And we'll have it for the spring. Sweet. Excellent. So that's a new field purchased. Oh my goodness. We purchased so many things here. All right. So we'll come back when that truck is at the sell point. One moment. All right. Just coming up to the sell point here. And I think it's onto an unload center. Okay. Good. It is. I wish this sell point were just a little bit further out. Load on center. Ah. I have to make that turn just a little bit more. How much money did we make from that? Oh, really? Uh, two bales just kind of go off. Anyways, let's see. Uh, what's the statistics tell us for sold bales? Uh, oh no, I guess it's finances I'm looking for. How much money do we make from sold bales? 120,000. So it's a bit more than, it's like the last time we made about 100,000, I think it was. And now we make uh, 120,000. That's without those two extra bales, that's an extra six. So 126,000, so there you go. Anyways, folks, that'll be it for me for today. Hope you enjoyed, we picked up a new, <laughs> a new couple new trailers. So picked up this trailer, we picked up the other grain trailer. We also picked up a new field, lots of purchasing going on today. And uh, yeah, that's pretty slick. I do like this trailer. I'm not gonna lie to you folks. American Eagle Modding, that's where I got this one from. Also has a couple other adjustments. If you wish, you can get this, which this guy right here, which goes in the back of this. So you can put your sprayer on there. I can also get this AR or sprayer support, whichever you prefer. I don't know what the AR stands for personally, but maybe you guys know. If you do, let me comment below. All right, my folk, my name's Ian Robson. Hope you enjoyed. If you like what you saw, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more County Line. I'll catch you guys later.